In this video, I'll demonstrate setting up a GuestPass self-service wireless LAN with the Unleashed user interface and logging into the wireless LAN. From the Unleashed dashboard, I would click on Wi-Fi Networks, and I'm going to Create. I'm going to give the wireless LAN a name, and I'm going to call it Guest Self-Service. And under Usage Type, we have three. We have Standard, Guest Access, and Hotspot Service, so I'm going to select Guest Access. And then under the onboarding portal, I'm going to leave the Enable Zero IT unticked. Guest authentication, I have three choices, guest pass and social login. Social login only, if I click that, you'll see the interface changes, or none. So I'm going to select guest pass and social login. Next, you'll see that we have the guest password. By default, the unique password for each guest is set. And if this is set, then the administrator or someone that the administrator designates will be sending a guest pass to every user that logs in. So I'm going to leave that ticked. And under the grace period, by default, you would allow users to reconnect without reauthentication for 480 minutes. But I'm going to untick that. And the reason I'm going to untick it is because I'm going to be logging in with multiple devices. And I may want to log in more than once quickly to demonstrate the login. The authentication type is open. The encryption method, since we're going to be logging in with a uh, guest pass, we'll leave that unticked. The accounting service is disabled. And under the advanced options, if I wanted to set some additional restrictive subnet access, I could do that. I could set my wireless LAN priority. I could change my access control, or I could set my SSID uplink and enable per SSID downlink. I'm going to leave those at the default radio control, and I have some other settings as well. So I'm just going to leave all those as the default setting, and then I'll go to the next screen. And on this menu, I have the option of selecting social media logins. I can do Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Microsoft, and WeChat. I'm not going to do those. I have a separate video on doing those. I'm going to select Guest Pass Self Service. The access duration by default is one day, but I can change that. So let's give this a week. The session, I could adjust that if I wanted to. I could have sponsor approval. We're going to leave the defaults on all of these. And what I'm going to do under the user redirection URL is direct them to the Ruckus website. So I'm going to put in the Ruckus website. And after putting in the website, it'll take me to this screen and it says SMS is not configured yet. Do you want to configure it now? The reason it's bringing this up is that I've I've already configured my email server and I can configure the SMS server. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a separate video on that. So I'm going to select no. Do you want to create a guest pass operator now? No, this would be under the unlimited guest access. So I'll do that later as well. So now we have our guest self-service created. If I click on that, I could go back up and I could edit that just to make sure if I wanted to go in to adjust something here, let's just make sure that it is what we think it is. And I'll go to my next screen and it is enable guest pass self-service. So now I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and customize this. So at the bottom, this is what the client is going to see when they log in, and we can customize this. If I hit the preview button, this is what they will be seeing. They'll be seeing by default the Ruckus logo, welcome to the guest Wi-Fi, connect to the Wi-Fi by guest pass. This would be what an administrator would give them, or they would do help with a guest pass. So I'm going to click OK on that, and let's do a little customization on this. So let's change the logo. So I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to use a custom image. And since I'm representing an art studio, I'll put a piece of art in here and I'll click OK. For the welcome message, I'll just type in a message, welcome to the Iwani Art Studio. And I'll click OK on that. I could set the uh, opacity if I wanted to. If I hit preview, this will be what the client sees when they log in. They'll see this art and they'll see this welcome message. and they will then be able to connect to Wi-Fi by a guest pass, or they can help with the guest pass. And this is the piece that we're going to be using on this video, helping with the guest pass. So we're going to click OK, and we've got everything configured. And I'm going to click OK to create the wireless LAN. And now, if you look under our wireless LANs, we have a total of four Wi-Fi networks, and the guest self-service is the one that we just created. So what I'm going to do now is click on the wireless LANs and select that network that we just created. 
This is our network, Guest Self Service. It, notice that it is an open network, so I'm, so I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to hit Connect. It's going to connect to it, and that's going to bring me to my welcome screen. And it says, Welcome to the Iwani Art Studio. I can connect to the Wi-Fi by a guest pass, but what I'm going to do for the self-generated guest pass is click on Help with Guest Pass. So I need to give an email and a name. So I put in an email, I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call this one Jim Patterson. Then I'm going to click Next. It says you are successfully authenticated. Your guest access is valid until, and it gives me a date for that, then hit Continue. And if you notice, it redirected me to the Ruckus Wireless website because that was the redirection that I put in there. Now what I want to do is to go back to the Unleashed dashboard from the administrator's perspective. And if we go to my clients, so I'll shrink this one down. Now let's take a look at the clients. And you'll notice here at the top that we have a name and the user is Jim Patterson. So this is a user that just logged in with a self-generated pass. And if you had 50 users that logged in, you'd have 50 different usernames in here. So from an admin perspective, you can see the users that are logged on. And if for some reason I wanted to bump that guy or mark him as a favorite or troubleshoot or say block or do a speed test or delete, that particular user, I could do that. So as you can see, it's quite easy to set up a guest pass self-service wireless LAN with the Unleashed user interface and then log in to that wireless LAN.